And with us here at 730 every 68 seconds, the worst happens 90% of the time it's to a woman. We're talking about sexual assault. Mr. D'Angelo broke in and woke up my sister and tied her up. He then came to my room and woke me up with his hand over my mouth. After rolling out of bed and swinging at him, I was hit several times on the head before being tied up, gagged, and blindfolded. We were both threatened and I was raped multiple times. There was so much emotional and physical trauma that I carried with me. My God, we were just high school kids living a normal life, going to school, church group, having friends over. Now this horrific experience was part of me and who I would become. That is a rape survivor in the case of the Golden State Killer. Peggy and her sister were attacked in Sacramento, California in 1976. It took more than 40 years to come up with the DNA match that led to the conviction of Joseph James D'Angelo. It's a long time to wait for justice, a maddening amount of time. But for those who have been sexually assaulted, sadly, it's not all that unusual. When a sexual assault is reported, evidence is usually gathered as soon as possible. A rape kit is done. It's a physical examination, a collection of samples that could in part provide DNA evidence. It's invasive, uncomfortable, it's awful, but it's also important. You want to have somebody that is specially trained or you know, can take that trauma-informed approach uh, that knows what they're doing or at least has some experience and not just reading the instructions out of the box. You only have one shot, you know, because that, once that evidence is gone, it's gone. So imagine going through all of that only to have that kit sit on a shelf for months, even years. What an indignity. In 2018, we began to learn about the rape kit backlog at the North Carolina State Crime Lab. It had reached more than 16,000. That number was absolutely unacceptable because each of those thousands and thousands and thousands of kits comes from a single person. And each and every one of them deserves justice. A bipartisan effort began to do something about that problem. More state money, more state resources. It took a while, but we got this news yesterday from Attorney General Josh Stein. Today, North Carolina has ended the backlog of untested rape kits in North Carolina. Yeah, it took six years, but they are finally caught up. Here's the thing, though. This isn't just a problem at the North Carolina State Crime Lab. As of last November, Charlotte Mecklenburg Police had about 400 unprocessed kits. We found that out as the department was awarded a $2.9 million Department of Justice grant to whittle that number down. We did reach out to CMPD to see where things stand as of right now. We've been told they are working on getting us an update. Meantime, in South Carolina, we know there is still a big backlog. How big? Well, for a long time, it was hard to say. The state wasn't really tracking it. Uh, we made several attempts, phone calls as well, and we're not able to um, get a request approved. It's so frustrating that South Carolinians don't have access to this information the way that other people do in other states. Yeah, our sister station in Greenville, South Carolina, kept pushing on this and finally got some numbers from SLED, the South Carolina Law Enforcement Division. As of October of 2023, it had about 2,000 untested kits. Adding to the frustration in South Carolina, there was a law passed a couple of years ago. It gave SLED until June of 2022 to get a rape kit tracking system up and running. It would give victims a way to know where their kit was in the process. 18 months later, it's just now getting underway. They can say, I went through that horrible experience of being assaulted and then having to undergo that rather intrusive examination, and it wasn't for nothing. I can see that people are actually looking at it, real live people are looking at it and doing something about it. So finally getting underway in South Carolina. Keep in mind, North Carolina does have a tracking system in place. It's as simple as going to a website. We put that link on ours. Just go to WBTV.com slash WebExtras. All right, we're on your side.